title of the first section of notes is simplify radicals. A radical is the same thing as a square root. Our first question is radical 25 or square root 25. This would be a number times itself that's equal to 25 and that answer would be 5. Second question is radical 50 or square root 50. In this case there's no whole number times itself that equals 50. So to solve this question what we'll do is called a factor tree. We'll pick two numbers that multiply to get 50. For example 5 times 10. You can use any two numbers you want. You could also use 25 and 2. It doesn't matter which numbers you pick as long as they multiply to 50. 5 is a prime number, which means 5 is the only number that multiplies to get itself. So we won't factor that anymore. But the number 10, we can pick two numbers that multiply to get 10. In this case, it would be 5 and 2. Your factor tree is complete when you're left with numbers that you can't factor anymore. To get your final answer, you want to circle your pairs of numbers. For example, we have a pair of fives. That would be our first number for the answer. Any single number at the bottom of a factor tree that does not have a pair goes inside a square root or inside a radical. In this case, our final answer would be 5 radical 2. For the factor trees, we don't use the 50 and the 10. We only use the numbers at the bottom of the factor tree. Next question we'll do is square root or radical 24. Again, there's no, two, no number times itself that equals 24. So again, we'll do a factor tree on 24. Picking two numbers again that multiply get six, that multiply get 24. You could do 6 times 4. You could also do 12 times 2. You could also do 8 times 3. Any two numbers, and it'll get you the same answer. The 6 we can factor. 6 would be 3 times 2. And the 4 we can factor. 4 would be 2 times 2. And again, once you have prime numbers, no other numbers that you can factor at the bottom of your factor tree, then we can figure out what the answer is. You want to circle your pairs of numbers. We have three twos, but circling pairs means we'll only circle two of them. So our first number would be 2. Then we'd have the radical sign. We have two numbers left over that don't have pairs. What we can do is multiply those together, 3 times 2, and put that inside the radical, which would be 6. So our final answer would be 2 radical 6. And the last problem for the section will be radical 98. And again, 98, there is no number times itself that's 98, but we can figure out a factor tree for it. Two numbers that multiply get 98. We could use 2 since it's an even number. And 2 times 49 would be 98. 49 we can factor again. 49 would be 7 times 7. Again, once our factor tree is complete, all prime numbers on the bottom, we can circle the pairs. That would be the first number we'd write down. Single numbers, like 2, that are left over go inside the radical. And again, the 98 and the 49 we don't use because we factor those to other numbers. But our final answer would be 7 radical 2. Last section of notes today is titled Simplify More Radicals.
first question for the section is 5 radical 320. For this problem, we have an extra 5 outside the radical sign, which means we'll multiply our final answer by 5. 320 inside the radical, we can do a factor tree for. Anytime a number ends in 0, it means it's 10 times some number for 320. In this case, it would be 32 times 10. The 32 we can factor. We could use 8 times 4. The 8 we can factor. We can use 4 times 2. And the 4 we can factor, which would be 2 times 2. This 4 we can also factor, which again will be 2 times 2. And the 10 we can factor, which would be 5 times 2. Again, you want to factor, do your factor tree as much as possible until you get just the prime factors at the bottom. And again, you want to circle the pairs only two at a time. We have one set of twos, another set of twos, and a third set of twos. If you have more than one set, you can multiply these numbers together. Two times two would be four, times two would be eight for the number outside the radical. Inside the radical would be a number that we did not circle. In this case, that number would be 5. And all the other numbers we factored down, so we won't use those. So we'd have 8 radical 5. Keep in mind our beginning number, we had a 5 out front. Bringing that 5 over would be 5 times 8. Our final answer would be 40 radical 5. Next question we'll solve is radical 10 times radical 40. When you have two radicals, you can multiply those together. 10 times 40 would be 400, and you can put it under one radical. From there, you can do the factor tree. We can use the same two numbers at the beginning, 10 times 40, and factor from there. 10 would be 5 times 2. 40 would be 4 times 10. 4 would be 2 and 2. 10 would be 5 and 2. Again, circle any pairs of numbers. We have a pair of 2's. We have another pair of 2's. And we also have a pair of 5's across the factor tree. Again, any time you circle more than one number, you can multiply those together. 5 times 2 would be 10, times 2 more would be 20. Looking at the factor tree, there's no other numbers that we did not circle, and no numbers that we did not factor, so there's no numbers inside the radical sign. In this case, our final answer would be 20, and that's because 20 times 20 is 400. Last problem for the section is radical 3x times radical 51 x to the third power. Same steps as before. If we have two radicals, we can multiply the numbers. 51 times 3 would be 153. x times x to the third power, that would be 4x's or x to the fourth. And again, this would stay underneath the radical. We'll factor the number first, 153. And again, that number is 3 times 51. 51, there's actually two numbers that multiply to get 51. And those numbers would be 3 times 17. 17 is a prime number we cannot factor. Again, we have a pair of 3's, we can circle those. So the first part of our answer would be 3. And we have a 17 inside the radical sign. For the variables, in this case we have x to the fourth, what we can do is we can write down four x's, that would be the same as x to the fourth, and the same steps as before where we circle the pairs, in this case we'll circle pairs of x's. We circle two sets of x's, which means the square root of that would be x squared. Putting our number and x variable together, we would have 3x squared times radical 17. 